Good morning, and welcome to episode 84 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, President of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. Over the past week, there's a number of noteworthy uh, news items. The first uh, just released yesterday, U.S. household debt tops $16 trillion for the first time ever. And this is amidst all the talk that the economy and household finances are as strong as they've ever been. If we've got to go $16 trillion into debt to be strong with our finances, we have some serious issues. I'm not buying it. Uh, on the geopolitical front, Russia has stepped up its attacks on uh, Kiev and the Ukraine. Representative Nancy Pelosi, uh, despite warnings from China not to do so or urgings from China not to do so, has traveled to Taiwan uh, amidst uh, intensified saber rattling between the U.S. and China. Uh, the SEC has taken down a $300 million Ponzi scheme. Uh, it, that's a crypto Ponzi scheme with the Forsage company. Uh, JP Morgan so their trial for spoofing in the precious metals market continues. Uh, but the most dominant story over the past week for sure was the Fed raising interest rates 75 basis points. That's three quarters of 1%. And it's on top of a three quarter percent rate increase on the June meeting. Now, 80% uh, folks out there consensus believe that in September at the next opportunity, they'll raise rates half uh, uh, a point or half uh, percent to 50 basis points from, from where it is now at 2.25 to 2.50 percent interest. Uh, I don't believe they can go much further than that, be honest with you. Uh, again, we're looking at the servicing of the debt on $30 trillion. Every percent increase means that it's going to cost $27 million more per day to service that debt. That's right, I didn't, I didn't stutter. $27 million per day to service that debt. Uh, they're gonna have to pivot at some point, and I hope you're owning gold at that point. It is down lower than it ought to be. You have a great opportunity. I don't believe it will last for long. Let's take a look at some of the prices and see what the, the metals have done over the past week. Gold is up two and one quarter percent to 1,762.70. That's uh, from 1724 last week. Silver is up 5.6 percent to $19.96 from $18.90 last week. Platinum is up 1.1 percent or $10 to $900 this week from 890 last week. And palladium is up three quarters of 1% to 2,126 an ounce versus 2,110 last week. It's been a long time since all four precious metals were up in a week's time. As a result of silver outpacing gold, uh, the gold-silver ratio, or number of ounces it takes of silver to buy one ounce of gold, has dropped to 88.71 from 91.7 last week. That's the first time in a while it's below 90. Uh, and the U.S. dollar index dropped slightly to 106.20 from 106.98. Point nine eight last week. The gold continues to show strength amidst a very strong headwind from the U.S. dollar. 20-year highs in U.S. dollar strength, and yet gold is only down less than 3% on the year. We're going to continue to come to you week after week. Uh, trying to assess what's going on in the markets and give you some guidance as to where to go in the future. Uh, one of those uh, tools that we use is our monthly newsletter information line that comes out tomorrow. Look out, look for it in your inbox. Uh, in addition, we'll have a uh, webinar I'll be participating in with Escape Artist. Uh, that's on August 16th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be joined by Mike Cobb of ESI, or sorry, ECI Development and uh, Kirk Chisholm of Innovative Wealth. Uh, we're going to look at opportunity inflation. Yes, every crisis brings opportunity and inflation does that as well. We'll be discussing that topic on August 16th at 8.30 p.m. Stay tuned for details on how to sign up for that. In addition, we have our upcoming third quarter on the move webinar on 
August 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I will have a new host for this episode. It will be Adrian Day of Adrian Day Asset Management. I'm looking forward to uh, uh, discussing the current topics with a good friend and an incredibly uh, knowledgeable an experienced individual of the markets for 40, 50 years at this point. Uh, so Adrian Day and I are going to welcome none other than the investment director for Bonner Private Research, Tom Dyson. Tom will join us live from London. We're going to get an update on his Dow Gold theory, uh, and we'll talk about inflation, gold, etc., and markets in general. Uh, look to join us. You can sign up for that webinar right below this uh, video. Uh, again, that's 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 8.25, August 25th. Uh, join myself, Adrian Day, and Tom Dyson for the On The Move the webinar. We hope that you will go ahead and subscribe uh, and like us on this YouTube channel. Send us your comments and questions. Please sign up for our uh, social media with Asset Strategies and uh, sign up to get our newsletters. And the most important thing of all, don't ever forget that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.